Welcome to Franciscan Health's Outpatient Infusion Center. In this video, we'll guide you through the chemotherapy and immunotherapy infusion process, as well as teach you how to manage potential side effects at home. We know that the first day of treatment can be overwhelming. As a result, we hope that this video, along with the education from your provider and nurse, will prepare you to make your treatment as successful as possible. You will be getting your treatment in our infusion center. We encourage you to bring one support person over the age of 16 to accompany you. Before coming to your appointment, we recommend that you eat a good meal. We have snack and drink stations throughout the center for you and your loved one, but you are also welcome to bring your own drinks and snacks as treatment days can be long. Each infusion chair has a personal television, but you may also bring a laptop or tablet to help you pass time through your treatment. Throughout the year, the infusion center is often cool, so be sure to dress accordingly when coming to your treatment. But don't worry as we have warm blankets available as well as seat warmers equipped in our chairs. If you have a port, we recommend wearing a button-down shirt to help nurses access it. If your provider has prescribed lidocaine cream to help numb your port site, please apply it about an hour prior to coming to your appointment so that it is able to take effect. Treatment days typically involve blood work, also known as your labs, a visit with your provider, and treatment in the infusion center. For your safety and treatment success, your providers need to know a few things before treatment can begin. First, your provider and nurse will ensure your lab work shows that your body is healthy enough for treatment. Once your provider has reviewed your labs and given your nurse the okay for treatment, the pharmacy will begin making your treatment. Because adjustments may be necessary depending on your lab results or side effects, the pharmacy is unable to make the treatment in advance. Depending on your treatment, your nurse may give you what we call pre-medications, or pre-meds for short. These are designed to help your body tolerate the treatment and prevent its possible side effects. Your nurse will discuss your specific treatments pre-meds with you in more detail. Once it is time for treatment, your nurse will perform a safety check. This will involve scanning your bracelet and medication into the computer and having two nurses verbally check your name and date of birth. Once your effusion begins, please let us know if you have any questions or concerns as your well-being is our priority. Like any medication, chemotherapy and immunotherapy have possible side effects. Please know that this video covers a wide range of side effects for all types of treatments. This does not mean that you will experience the side effects mentioned in this video. For information on the side effects specific to your treatment, please speak with your healthcare provider. Patients are often worried about nausea and vomiting. Thankfully, your provider has many medication options that have successfully reduced or prevented this side effect in many of our patients. If you experience nausea or vomiting at home, start by taking the medication your provider has prescribed for you. If you don't have nausea medication or the medication isn't improving your symptoms, please contact our office right away. Changes in your diet, such as eating small frequent meals, increasing your water intake, and reducing spicy, fatty, or acidic foods from your diet may help. If you have concerns about your diet or weight loss, please let your provider or nurse know, and they can have one of our dietitians speak with you. Some patients experience changes in how often they have bowel movements. Constipation can put you at increased risk for developing hemorrhoids or rectal bleeding. As a result, if you notice your stool is harder to release or that your bowels are moving less often, we recommend trying over-the-counter daily stool softeners. Diarrhea or loose watery stools can dehydrate you and cause further weight loss. As a result, we recommend trying over-the-counter Imodium to help improve these symptoms. Increasing your water intake is also important to help improve these side effects. If over-the-counter medications are not improving your symptoms, please contact our office immediately. Please also let your provider know if you notice any blood in your stool or urine, as this may need to be addressed. Certain chemotherapy drugs can result in hair loss or hair thinning, but not all treatments do. When patients do lose their hair, it usually occurs two to three weeks after their first treatment. Patients may also lose their eyebrows, eyelashes, underarm hair, and pubic hair. Hair loss is temporary and should grow back when treatment is complete. However, it may initially grow back a slightly different texture or color than your original hair. If you are interested in a wig or hair prosthetic, please speak with your provider or nurse and they can help connect you with resources. Your insurance will usually help cover the cost. After your treatment, it is expected that your blood counts such as your white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets may decrease. They are usually at their lowest around 10 days after treatment. Your white blood cells protect you from infection. When this count drops, it puts you at higher risk for illness. As a result, we recommend you wash your hands regularly. Avoid people who are sick, 
avoid large crowds, and ensure that your food is washed and prepared in a clean environment. It is also important that you have an accurate thermometer to monitor your temperature. If your temperature is over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, contact your provider right away. When your red blood cells are low, your body may feel more tired or fatigued because it has to work harder to deliver oxygen to different parts of your body. As a result, make sure you are prioritized getting rest. Lastly, your platelets are wet. Help prevent you from bleeding or bruising. When platelets are low, you are at an increased risk for bleeding. Avoid activities or items that may cause you to bleed or bruise. We recommend using a soft toothbrush and electric razor, as well as wearing gloves when gardening. Please also let your provider know if you are having any dental work done. Some chemo medications cause peripheral neuropathy. This creates decreased sensation, numbness, tingling, or pain in your hands and feet. Please let your provider know right away if you experience any of these sensations, as they may need to make changes to your treatment. Lastly, chemotherapy medications process through your body for 48 hours or two days after the infusion or injection. As a result, body fluids such as blood, sweat, urine, stool, semen, or vaginal secretions are considered hazardous during these 48 hours. To protect family members, we recommend using a separate bathroom if possible. If not, we recommend ensuring that your bathroom is kept clean and that you close the lid and flush the toilet twice to ensure no pets, children, or other family members come into contact with chemo particles. If any laundry is soiled with your body fluids during this time, wash them in hot water. Hugging and kissing your family is safe during this time and it is okay to be around pregnant women. We hope this video was helpful in preparing you for your chemotherapy treatment. Remember that this is just a broad overview of the information regarding treatment and further information can be provided by your provider, nurse, or nurse navigator. Please keep in mind that we also have a financial counselor and social worker available if you have questions about resources related to transportation, support, or financial assistance. If you have any questions, please feel free to speak with any of our staff during your appointment. You are also welcome to contact our office through my chart or our nurse line should you have any questions. Please call our office if you have a fever of 100.4 or greater, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and or diarrhea that is uncontrolled by medication, any unusual bleeding or bruising, shortness of breath, or overall change in your well-being. At Franciscan Health, your well-being is our priority, and we are here for you and your loved ones during this difficult time. We look forward to caring for you during your cancer journey.